All right, here in round one, definitely going to keep this. Um, we've got the ramp, so we can get to our four drop on turn three, which is nice. Probably go for the idol first, since we've got, you know, five dragons we could draw. Unfortunately, neither of these turn on Whisperer's Ferocious, but that's okay. Okay, opponent is keeping, playing first. Ooh, Sandblast is a good draw. Play against red blue, which is actually a pretty unusual color combination. Segmented Grotique, also a good draw. Still a pretty good chance for playing Dragon Left Idol next turn. Okay, Morph. Not too surprised. Get our idol down. I think there's a better chance currently that we're just going to hard cast a critique on turn five. So, pretty good chance we're just going to play a student next turn. Okay. Well, better our idol than, say, um, an actual dragon. Okay. Uh, I guess we just slam a student and pass. Next turn, we can cast... Segmented Crotique. If I draw another land, maybe I morph it? I feel like not, though. Alright, so that could be a Sandstorm Charger, but I feel like he would have attacked. Mm, I guess the problem with morphing Segmented Crotique, he also has Counterspell Mana up, but I feel like he just wants to unmorph. This is interesting. Uh, if I if I cast if I morph the Crotique and kill it with more things, if I don't morph it, I'm just gonna have like a plethora of mana. How much better is a seven six than a six five? I don't know the answer to that. I guess it's the difference between dying and not dying to sandblast. There's just so many things that kill a two two. That I think I'm just gonna just just cast the Crotique. And, I mean, I, yes, I was walking into a contradict there, but I think that's okay. I'm not going to attack with student into a morph. Uh, maybe I should have... Actually, I probably should have attacked first and did the sandblast. Or left up the sandblast. That would have made more sense. So now he's just digging for an out to critique, I imagine. Okay, not too unexpected that we would draw this many lands. All right, we're just going to uh, sandblast that. Okay, no dragon revealed. Still get to gain our life. Get to keep our big dude, and I think that's all that really matters. All right, not very intimidated by that.
drew another land, which is starting to get bad. This is the main reason I, I typically don't like to run 18 lands. Um, I just, I really don't like getting flooded, but it, it is what you have to expect to happen when you run 18 lands. I get a lot of comments that are like, why don't you run 18 lands? Why don't you run 18 lands? This is really the reason I don't run 18 lands. I, I strongly dislike uh, getting flooded. I don't like getting screwed either, but they're both they're both pretty bad. So hopefully he doesn't mill us for four and just get rid of four dragons. That would be pretty bad. No, nope, but of course he gets rid of four spells after, after drawing, of course, after drawing lands the whole game we... Gets rid of four spells, so exactly what I didn't want to happen did just happen, but what can you do? It's magic for you, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, well, that's actually pretty good. Especially since we can morph plus on morph and eat that mind scour dragon um i really should have cast this first off the ferocious all right well that worked out okay two cards left in our opponent's hand Hopefully we get to eat the Mind Scour Dragon here. Let him use his Vault Breaker first. Eat the dragon, take eight. Currently have lethal on crackback, so he's got to come up with a solution here. Okay. All right, I think we'll just force the chump block. So if he has removal plus dash, we die. But I still think the attack was correct. All right. Looks like we're probably going to die to a Sarkin's Rage. Or maybe he's just digging for an out. I mean, that's there's quite a few things that kill us here. I see. Well, Destructor Dragon's pretty good. Um, guess we just swing Crotique. I can't kill him, so we just swing Crotique, then play Destructor Dragon. All right, so he's digging. We know his last card is a dash. We're at four life, so neither of his guys can connect. He's got a pretty good opportunity to kill us here. All he needs is like a bounce or a tap effect, and we're toast. So I'm not feeling hyper confident here. I mean, he gets a lot of digging done. I mean, it does, but he has to have the, the tools, but there's just... Uh, he basically just needs to dash and find something for the... I'm actually kind of... I'm not sure why he... 
Um, oh, I see. I was going to say, why did he cast the uh, the Servant? Well, it was an extremely close game. Extremely close. Like, this game could not have been closer in my mind. I really don't think this game could have been any closer than this. Like, just ridiculous how close that game was. Absolutely, absurdly close. So, I wish we could have pulled it through, but that's okay. So, I could bring in Pinion Feast for the Mind Scour Dragon. I'm not sure about that. Um, Surge of Righteousness is probably, yeah, Surge of Righteousness is going to happen. He's got plenty of red creatures I want to kill. Servant to the Scale can block Frostwalker. I guess that's not bad, but can't really block the... Uh, Can't really block the uh, Vault Breaker. Let's cut the Tread Upon for the Surge. A little bit harder removal. If only I had drawn a Shield Hide Dragon instead of a Destructor Dragon, the game would have been completely different. Um... I think that's it. I don't think Pinion Feast for his dragon's worth it. I think we've got enough outs to it. And we didn't see enough flyers, despite him being in blue. So, all right, we'll, we'll try this again. Uh, this is probably one of the more awkward hands, but I think I actually do keep it. Uh, I mean, if we draw a white mana, we're fine. If we don't draw a white mana for a while, we can still morph this. This hand could get really bad, but we have eight white sources and 18 lands, so it's actually a really nice distribution of, of uh, lands to spells. And we could just top deck a white mana, and then we're really good, because then we've got a good turn progression. He's got multiple Atarka Efreets, though, so I have to be conscious of that. All right, top decked what we were looking for, which means we get the rock, which is nice. He's got uh, just one Draconic Roar, I think. I don't think he's got multiple Draconic Roars. I could le leave up the Surge of Righteousness for like a Vault Breaker, but we're going for Kirin here for sure. Ugh. Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> it's so annoying. For some reason, I, and I don't know when this started, it just started like two drafts ago, I cannot morph stuff. I've like just started casting things. I don't morph things anymore. I don't know what, I, I really have no explanation to where that started, but it's horrendous right now since this is almost assuredly an Atarka Efreet. So I'm going to lose my Kirin needlessly, which is really frustrating. But I, I really have no idea how this started out of nowhere. I just started casting things instead of morphing them. I, I, I have no explanation. It's the weirdest thing. So I'm going to lose my Mist of Kirin completely needlessly here, which is potentially the difference between winning and losing this game, quite frankly. So it's, it's just, I, I have no idea. It's so weird. I feel like he would have wanted to use, well, now we're like, if that's an f -rate, he's probably going to regret that decision. Oof. That's painful. Wish I could do something about that. I mean, 
good news is we've got a grip full of removal. Bad news is we lost our sweet dude. All right, so I guess the plan is enduring victory, the misfire adept, which makes the best use of our mana. If it's an Atarka, well, maybe that one's the effort. Right? Um, yeah, I'm okay enduring victory that. We go to a blocker step, I guess. Oof. That's super painful. All right. Well, hated that. Let's see what we got now. That sucks. All right. Well, I guess we swing. Yeah, that's actually a trade I'm okay with. I'm going to play a Sky Captain and pass. That way I can block the uh, Stratus Dancer and buff my rock. It's a lot of morphs. No attacks. All right. Um, I think we just play dragon and pass. Guess I can swing with Sky Captain, actually. Maybe I should have done that pre combat. Alright, so we're going to lose our Sky Captain. We're going to buff our Territorial Rock. So, yes, I absolutely should have attacked first. That was a really idiotic, horrendous play on my part, but. I make a lot of mistakes. I'm actually still reeling from that stupid mischief, Kieran. Uh, So, really bad play on my part. Extremely bad. I'm in actually just a bunch of trouble now because this is probably another F rate. I can't really afford to take six damage. but I think I have to just because I'm an idiot and I don't want to lose my guys. So I'm going to take a bunch of damage here. Yep, that's horrendously bad again. So not looking good. Really not looking good here at all. I would go as far as to say looking really bad. 
but did draw a shield head dragon. I think we leave up Surge of Righteousness and Sandblast. <clears throat> All right, pretty big trouble here, but uh, that's not bad. Um, this is interesting. So if I draw a land, I'm going to be able to do the Shield High Dragon. This just never untaps. That's how it works. Just never untaps. Wow. Um... We do Bowmaster, just in case I don't draw the land. I did it again, by the way. I Did they just switch the order? I swear to God they switched the order on this. That's got to be what it is. How could I possibly be making that mistake that many times? How could my brain do 40 drafts of, I think... Cast face down is on top. Why do I reflexively go to cast face down on top? Yeah, I could not be telegraphing Sandblast anymore. All right, that's really bad. For us. Good for him. Amazing for him. Horrible for us. What was the dragon he revealed? Oh, he owns a dragon, yeah. Icefall region. Even more bonkers. All right, so now I think I'm in just really horrific trouble here. Uh, I don't even have the mana to do stu student plus sandblast, so I think I have to hard cast shield head dragon. Much to my sadness and chagrin. And even then, I'm not sure we can stay alive, but we'll find out. All right, 
that's horrific. We're going to lose now, but it's the way it went down. So uh, hopefully we can do better in rounds two and three. I'm hoping. Um, but we'll have to see. So I'll see you then.